live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering NetApp Insight 2018. Brought to you by NetApp. Welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of NetApp Insight 2018. I'm Lisa Martin, I've been here all day with Stu Miniman and we've had a jam-packed agenda of guests. We're now coming to the end of our program. We bring back two CUBE alumni. We've got Bharat Badranath, welcome back. I feel like it's deja vu, the VP of Product and Solutions Marketing at NetApp. And Ken Ringdo, also an alumni, VP of Global Alliance Architecture from Beam. Hey guys. Great. Thanks for stopping by towards the, the end of the day. I'm sure you guys are, have both had lots of meetings today. Let's talk a little bit about the, the NetApp Beam partnership. Just at Beam on a few months ago, Ken, the reseller relationship that Beam has with NetApp was announced. Let's talk about the impetus of that, that momentum coming from joint partners, uh, customers, channel partners. Tell me a little bit about that from Beam's perspective. Yeah, sure. I think uh, you know, earlier this year, we, we announced that resale relationship, which went live in, in March. And uh, so Veeamon was in May, so we were just at the early stages of that. And you know, we've seen some good momentum. We've we've expanded that that relationship, and and now we're you know we're we're able to jointly sell the whole portfolio. Um, and I'd say it's it's a combination of of two things, uh, and really it's customers and partners, right? So so we had a lot of success in the channel. Veeam Veeam and NetApp have been partnering together in the channel for you know five seven years, long time now. Um, and just based on the success of our meeting, meeting in the channel, and then customer demand and partner demand, you know, we decided to expand our relationship and go deeper, and, and really uh, go, go deeper not only from a go-to-market perspective, but from a, from a product perspective, where we're getting, we're getting even closer together and, and driving more business and, and integration, and, and really highlighting the, the value of the, of the NetApp platform. What's NetApp's you know, reaction to when the channel and customers are saying, hey guys, Tell us about that, Brian. Yeah, so, so of course, we obviously are here to make sure the customers have a great experience with it, and Veeam brings in something which is unique in the market for the customer, so we've heard it from our customers, our joint customers who are saying the better integration is going to help them. Being the stewards of the customer's data, we want to make sure the data is protected, and if Veeam brings that uh, expertise into the market, we integrate better to make it more seamless for the customer. Right? which is what we're doing as we expand this partnership to the next level. Yeah, uh, both, both Veeam and NetApp, uh, we're, we're pretty early in leaning into the, the, this hybrid multi-cloud world. Uh, I'm wondering if you have any you know, good customer examples uh, you might be able to share as to uh, customers that you're kind of moving towards the, the, this future that we're talking about um, and, and the partnership. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, you know, at, at, at Veeam, our you know our goal is is to is to really provide a hybrid environment. We started in the virtual world. We expanded to physical. We've gone to cloud. Um, you know, we see NetApp with a very strong presence on prem. They obviously have now rela strong relationships with with the, the public cloud vendors and, and have done a really good job of pivoting the strategy and and embracing the cloud, uh, which is what we've done to Veeam as well. And so, you know, we see our customers. You know, they're, they're really choosing cloud, they're choosing best of breed now, right? So they don't say, hey, I'm, 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 I'm a single cloud you know, strategy, I don't, I don't do just one cloud here, I'm saying you know, best of breed, maybe I'm doing my you know, machine learning and AI and Google, and I'm doing you know, my cloud native apps in AWS, and I'm, I'm doing my Microsoft native workloads in Azure, and so really, you, 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 do, need to, you, you do need to provide you know, that hybrid solution. That's really what we've looked to focus on, is taking the strength of, of where we came up and, and providing that best solution in the virtual world, extending that to physical and now going to the cloud. And you know, we see lots and lots of customers that, that they just want a, a comprehensive solution. They don't want point solutions, you know, point solution here, point solution there. You know, they want a comprehensive solution, and so it comes down to you know, two companies, really, I think, that have a, a very strong strategy for, for that hybrid world, right? For, for best of breed solutions that, that we can work together in, in all those facets. Yeah, and I, and I think our strategy and Beam strategy are pretty aligned, right? When you look at the hybrid cloud, when you look at our data fabric uh, message out in the market and what we are doing to stitch together on-prem and cloud, Beam happens to be a great partner to help protect that data as we work with the customer along this journey. And today we just announced, the, Beam just announced the HCI part of it as well, just making sure that we are helping the customer through every aspect of the journey. So 
Yeah, I'm wondering if you might have, uh, since the, the deal was announced uh, earlier this year, any, any specific customer examples or uh, even anonymized what, that you could share? Um, nothing, of, I'm sure there are lots of customers we have had jointly. Um, I don't have any specific ones at this moment. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's, there's a few I, I can highlight. Um, you know, certainly we, uh, you know, large, uh, probably one of the top top 10 international banks uh, over in, over in EMEA, that's a really, really large deal that, uh, that we're, we're working to, to get closed. It's you know, multi-million multi dollars to, to both of us. Um, you know, very, very large deal. I think we're seeing success. Um, really, uh, you know, Veeam's strength has always been sort of in the, in the commercial world, and we're moving up into the enterprise. That's a big impetus for the, the partnership, quite honestly, because NetApp has, has a lot of strength, yeah. especially with the on-tap system in, in enterprise. So I think we're, we're really sort of dovetailing each other. Veeam is bringing, bringing NetApp into more of our commercial deals. NetApp is bringing us into more enterprise deals. Um, but really, it's across the board, large banks, um, you know, even even healthcare and and and, and other deals as well. It is is you know, I don't I don't know uh, you know if there's any specific names I can I can call out, but I can tell you it really stretches, you know, the 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 entire sort of you know stretches vertical, yeah, stretches yeah. you know all different types, different sizes, different types of customers. We just had Dave Hits on uh, a little bit ago, Stu and I did today, and he kind of talked about really in the last five years really a big revolution at NetApp and it's been around 26 years. Can you mention that NetApp and Veeam have been partners for about five to seven years? I'm curious what Veeam's perspective is of NetApp's digital and IT and cultural transformation to now go out boldly and say we're the data authority and really kind of wrap their strategy around cloud. Yeah, sure. Um, you know, I would say, um, you know, we are, we are in a data-driven world, right? Data, data is the currency in, in the cloud world, right? So, you know, we look at ourselves as, as sort of being the stewards of, of data availability. Um, you know, NetApp has, has the strength in that primary data management, right? So there's really a natural dovetail between, between the two of us and, and a natural handoff where we can provide the entire end-to-end you know, from primary to, 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 to DR to secondary, and really about sort of you know, managing the place from that data, the value of that data, and the availability of that data. Um, it's, it's, it's incredibly important, I think, together we, we, we really, as I said, we, we cover that end to end. Uh, Barat, uh, you know, one of the messages we've been hearing today is talking about there's a lot of complexity out there, yeah. and, and NetApp's goal, like, like many companies in the space, try to help simplify it. What, what is the partnership, the integration, the reselling uh, of the solution? How does that help simplify uh, yeah. solutions for, uh, for Absolutely, companies? so uh, you know, as you heard earlier, it was all about providing a comprehensive stack end-to-end, -end, but what makes it simple is when it is comprehensive and integrated, right? So, when the two companies, engineering teams, work together to drive that integration, that results in simplicity, which our customers and our partners. For our partners, it's assurance that we're both working together, so it makes the solution more reliable, works well, as advertised, if you will, in the, in the customer premises. For customers, it's the simplicity in the form of integration, which comes in where the two companies, engineering teams, are, are driving towards that. So. Last question, Ken, for you, in, in terms of kind of following on to what Murat was saying, the customers now not only need that simplicity, they expect it. I'm curious, where is that, in the selling motion, where is that conversation? Is it with some of the folks that are down in the technical weeds who are looking to re drastically improve recovery time and recovery point objectives? Or are you also having conversations at the business level of a business going, whether maybe it's a legacy, not cloud native, that needs to go, well, we have so much data, which is an advantage, how do we use that? Are, are you seeing those business leaders, business unit leaders and C-levels involved in this conversation with Veeam and NetApp? Yeah, yeah, no, no question. I think, you know, traditionally, you know, Veeam has really, um, Veeam has really uh, been, been compelled by the, by the backup administrator, by the IT director, because the product is so easy to, to try. You know, you can, you can download it, you can try it for free. It's, you know, our, our whole, uh, you know, it just works is, is, has been our tagline because it is just so simple to get started with Veeam. We make it simple to, 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 to get up and running and, and, to, and to manage your backups and, and, and also get, give some of that power back to, to your customers. In fact, that, you know, it's uh, just a, a quick side, sidebar. You know, had dinner last night with a longtime Veeam customer, longtime NetApp customer, and they said, "Hey, look, you know, NetApp is 
Uh, NetApp is my storage vendor of choice, Veeam is my you know, backup data protection vendor of choice, and, and really they, they come together well, and, and, and NetApp does such a great job from primary to you know, leveraging the, the snapshot replication. But you know, he, he told me about this, this great story, he said, hey look, you know, we had somebody at, at midnight, you know, needed, needed to recover a file, we have you know, self-restore self capabilities that, that they were able to give that power to their end users to go recover a file to their server instead of you know, calling up and opening a ticket and, and having that, you know, instead of what, what took maybe eight hours to go through a whole process to get a storage admin and then a backup admin, took eight minutes, right? And I think it, 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 it talks to the value of you know, the, Net, the NetApp platform and, and, and providing that availability and, and, and the simplicity of the, the Veeam system. Yeah. You know, to be able to give that power and, and really do it in a, you know, take a, what might be complex and make it very simple, but it is, so, so back to your original question, Lisa, about, you know, we've traditionally really sort of been very, very valuable to that backup administrator, IT, IT admin. You know, as we move further into the enterprise, of course, that goes up into VP of IT all the way up to the CIO. I think our relationship is really bringing us, you know, both ways. We, we can come, come bottom up, NetApp can come top down, and, and we're hitting both sides of, and, and really that whole stack of, you know, influencer to, to, to buyer to decision maker in that whole stack. Brett, last question for you. We have got a few seconds left. I'm curious, when a customer says, Beam is our backup and recovery, NetApp is our storage, how does that, in this day as, hey, cloud is the heart of our strategy, how do you, how do you react to NetApp as our storage provider? So, so I don't see those as exclusive things, right? We manage their data on-prem and we, given their abilities in the hybrid cloud, well, if a customer considers us as an on-prem storage company, that is great, we're working with them to change that impression to uh, get them on, with them on their journey to the cloud. So we don't want to force them to get into the cloud, but as they move to the cloud, we want to be there to make sure um, we can manage their data in the cloud. And Veeam, given their hybrid capabilities and where they have been and what they do with the customer and ability to manage multi-cloud, maps really well to what we offer the customers. Of course, we'd like our customers to change their perception to not just view NetApp as an on-prem storage, but uh, as a cloud vendor as well, but it takes time for them to change the perception and we're working very hard on that. As you saw today in the keynote as well, you're starting to see customers, it, it has to be driven by the customer need, right? Like sometimes they realize certain things are done better in the cloud, which drives them to the cloud. We want to be there to provide that service for them as they, as they move, so. Well, Bharat and Ken, thanks so much for stopping by. At the end of the day here, we appreciate your time and we look forward to in 2019, maybe hearing more from that big EMEA bank and, and some of the great successes Absolutely. they're achieving with this partnership. Thank you for having Absolutely. us. Absolutely, thank you. Our pleasure. We want to thank you for watching. This wraps up theCUBE's full day. I'm Lisa Martin with Stu Miniman. We've had a great day, Stu, talking with NetApp executives, customers, partners, and we want to thank you for watching. Hope you've learned a lot, and of course, watch the replay, re replays at thecube.net. For Stu, I'm Lisa, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.